Now we want to simplify this fraction. We have here exponents, you see like this, negative 2 and negative 1. So in this case, it's usually we can go different ways, not just one way. One could first apply this negative 2 power to this numerator and denominator separately and then simplify from there. Or we can also simplify this fraction at first, then apply this negative 2. Now let's take the base and simplify it. We have 18 and 9. So what we can do, we can cancel 18 and the 9. And of course, on the top we will get 2 and 1 on the bottom. So that will give us 2 times x to the negative 1 power over x and the whole fraction to the negative 2. Now again, we can look at this fraction at, at first. So we have x to the negative 1 in the numerator. If we take the reciprocal, if we take this to the bottom, all, what, all is going to happen, this x to the negative 1 will change to the x to the 1, the positive exponent. Again, if we take the negative the, uh, uh, number, well, a term with a negative exponent from the numerator to the denominator, all we need to do is change the sign of the exponent. That's what we just did. Now that gives us 2 over x times x, which is x squared, and this whole fraction is raised to the negative 2 power. Now if you have a fraction to a negative power, we can just check the reciprocal of the fraction, so x squared over 2, and to the same but positive exponent. And now applying the rule, that will be numerator to second power over denominator to second power, and that's of course x to the 2 times 2, which is x to the fourth power over 2 times 2, or 4. And that will be our answer, which in this case, as we can see, uh, is e. Again, one more time, we have we can go different ways from here, but we decided to first simplify the fraction, then apply this exponent on the whole fraction.